You know, I've never been much of a stock market fan. In fact, I think investing in stocks sometimes is a little bit like gambling. But, you know, I will say, if you can find a stock that'll pay you back like the Doberman pays back their owners, then count me in. Because you know what? Sometimes when you own a dog this amazing, it does kind of feel like you hit the canine jackpot. You know, on my channel, we talk a lot about how the Doran breed is extremely unique as compared to the other 300 plus dog breeds out there and how they truly just stand apart from all those other dogs. But, and we talk a lot about how to take care of them, how to raise them and give them what they need. But you know, I think it's important we talk today about how they actually repay their owners for all that work and dedication. All the dividends that you collect as a Doberman owner uh, by owning one of these amazing dogs. So today in this video, we're talking about all the ways that these dogs will repay their owners. Starting off with number one, and of course this is in no particular order. Up first, they'll help you make just a lot of new friends and a few enemies along the way. But you know, these dogs are part of a community and the Doberman owner community is a tight one and it's so easy to get sucked into this community of owners who just love and care about their dogs and are so passionate about this amazing breed that it's really easy to get involved and make new friends. Also, to get kind of sucked into some of the dog sports where you'll make tons of friends. Not to mention, when you're walking down the street and you got your Doberman on the leash, the occasional car that'll just pull over to the side of the road and start talking to you and asking you questions about your beautiful dog. And then they'll go on to tell you about how they owned a dog many you know, years ago that was uh, one of their best dogs ever. And lo and behold, it happened to be a Doberman also. Uh, you know, you just meet a lot of people. Now, I say you can potentially meet a lot of enemies too, because um, you know, there are some people that are really scared of Dobermans from how they're portrayed in movies and television and that kind of thing. So if you have a neighbor who's terrified of dogs and instead of getting like a Labrador, you get a huge hundred pound Doberman, then, um, you know, sometimes that could uh, kind of tip the scales where maybe that neighbor is not too fond of you as much. Uh, also, if you are cropping your dog's ears and the tail, you might get a few comments or negative comments about doing that, especially online from people outside the US where you know they just don't know how common it is and just how it's a, kind of an everyday thing here in the US in a lot of ways. Uh, so not only will it encourage you to make a lot of new friends in this world, but it can make you a few enemies along the way too. The next way the Doberman breed will pay back their owners is by just simply keeping you safe. This is the original purpose of the breed, only breed bred for personal protection from the very beginning, and it's just instinctual to them. They will protect their family instinctually. Now, a lot of dogs are instinctually protective in some ways, but the Doberman, that was their original purpose. Only dog bred for that from the beginning. A lot of dogs that are somewhat naturally pr protective were born to be you know, hunting dogs and other things and herding dogs, but the protection qualities of the Doberman just are amazing to me and they pay great dividends. It was such a blessing to me to get my first Doberman back when I was working graveyard shifts and my wife was at home all night long, all by herself. And just to know that I had my Doberman there who was so incredibly alert, insanely loyal, um, would put his life on the line for my family. That in itself was just priceless. That was about the best payback I could have possibly got. They have many small little behaviors they do. Um, they're always alert. They're scanning, that kind of thing. I've tired this guy out pretty good. We just went to the dog park before filming today. So he's good and tired. Um, and, he, and he likes this area, huh? We hang out here sometimes. Um, so he's pretty relaxed. But in general, when you're at home, you'll see them scanning the situation, looking around, keeping their head on the door to whatever room you're in. And it's just one of the beautiful things about this breed. The third way they're definitely gonna pay you back for all your work taking care of them is they're gonna make you laugh quite consistently. Um, you know, these dogs, they just love to be right there with their owners. And if it's from learning how to open a door so that they can stick close by you when you go in another room, all the way to creating a little diversion or some situation you gotta go tend to because you're sitting on their favorite spot on the couch. And then when you get up to leave, they jump up on the couch. Um, there are so many things that they can do that just really just get that natural laugh out of you. And I know Arlo keeps me laughing all the time. Another common one is he loves to just in the middle of the night, well, usually he lets me sleep till morning, but if he really wants me to wake up, start staring at me awkwardly closer and closer and closer. And then I open my eyes and all I see there is my Doberman's face just staring at me eye to eye 
because he's ready to get going, go to the park, go to the dog park, whatever, and get going for the day. These are all some of the ways that these dogs will just pay you back by cracking you up, making you laugh all the time. Now, all these Dobermans are super just goofy and fun loving when they're younger. They tend to get a little bit more stoic as time goes by um, and a little more serious. But uh, males especially seem to stay in that uh, kind of happier, more accepting, goofier stage longer than females. And actually, there's a lot of differences between males and females. And if you want to learn a lot about these differences, you can take a look at my video all about the differences between males and female Dobermans. It should be popping up in the corner of your screen right now. Now, the fourth way that a Doberman will pay off their owners for all that time they've invested them is they'll teach you patience. Now, this is sometimes because of the stubborn hard-headedness of this breed, but you know, consistency pays off. And as you start to see the consistent work and time and training that you're putting into the, your dog, um, you're gonna start to see it pay on, paying off. And then you'll, it just naturally clicks that, man, that patience really goes a long way with this breed. So, you know, if there's one thing that my Doberman Arlo here has taught me is patience. He's a little bit more hard-headed, a little more headstrong, stubborn than my last Doberman. So he's really taught me the value of patience. It's paying off, you know, we can take him out. He's off leash right now, we're in a public place. Um, he's totally fine. Uh, you know, there's different ways they pay you off for this patience, but it's a beautiful thing, no matter which way you look at it. Number five, you're never alone. Even if you're just waking up at 2 a.m., you're gonna see your Doberman get up from their bed, stretch, look at you and go, oh, okay, it's time to work and we'll come over and hang out with you. You'll have a companion to talk to. You'll have someone to be there with you. It doesn't matter time, day or night. Now, there are some dog breeds that won't do that. They'll stay just curled up in their bed, warm as can be, and you know they're just fine like that. But a Doberman wants to be there constantly with you right by your side. They're called Velcro dogs for a reason because sometimes you can't peel them off very easily. And when you do, it's kind of like pulling Velcro off. But the good news is you always got someone there with you. Number six, they'll keep you healthy. And dare I say mentally and physically, I mean, it's nice having that companion with you all the time, uh, but they're great at calming you down too when you're stressed out. They make excellent service dogs. A lot of people use Dobermans as service dogs. Um, not the most common in the world because of some of the stigma around the breed, but when they are utilized, they do excellent in the role. Um, also, just physically healthy. They kind of demand all that exercise, so you gotta have to get out of the house and go do things. Go out to the park like we're doing now. Go to the dog park, go out on an adventure, on a hike, anything to get the energy out. And you know what, in the process, not only does your dog get healthier, but you get healthier too, which is certainly a priceless payback of this breed. Number seven, now this is kind of accumulation of all the qualities, but they just kind of make everything more fun. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, you know, they have that constant companionship and that protectiveness, but also that trainability, and they really do well off leash with the right training. So it just allows you, it just opens up your world of things that you can do with your dog that maybe you can't do with a lot of other breeds that aren't so owner focused. And being so owner focused, they're always checking in on you while you're out and about, looking back on you. That's what kind of makes this off leash stuff really possible and they just know how to make you laugh. So really, I just think they make everything, even the most mundane outing or adventure, more fun. Number eight, they really give you a big sense of accomplishment. You know, not every dog is as beautiful and stoic and gorgeous and, and attention attracting as the Doberman is, but you know, when you put all that time and energy into them and it's starting to pay off by all these dividends of all these things I'm listening to in this video, it really does give you a big sense of accomplishment and in some ways makes you feel like you can take on the world. That doesn't happen with every breed out there. So, you know, the sense of accomplishment I get from owning Arlo is one of the best things about it. Number nine, they really help you to grow your love just in general. Now this one's a little bit harder for me to explain, but it just helps you, you love your dog so much and you bond with them so tightly, it helps you to have empathy and feel for other people's, especially other dog owners, and even more so other Doberman owners. Yes, I said it, it's easy to love Doberman owners. What can I say? <laughs> but this is a great feature of this breed. And um, you know, increasing someone's love is something you just can't put a price on. A lot of the reasons I've listed here today are just kind of hard to quantify. It's a lot of how the Doberman makes you feel as an owner. And if you own one of these dogs, you know what I mean. And if you don't, hopefully this video has given you a little bit of insight, but um, you know, talk to other Doberman owners. You'll see them kind of struggling to explain exactly how great it is between the sense of accomplishment, the pride that it gives you, the patience it teaches you, the love that you just grow in general. It's just an amazing thing. And you know, there is no free lunch though. You gotta put in the work and the time <laughs> into making these guys happy. And that's what this channel exists for, is to help you learn how to make yourself a happy and healthy Doberman that you can be uh, proud of and even laugh at from time to time.
If you own a Doberman already, you may know a lot of this stuff, but I know a lot of you that own Dobermans still watch my channel and every video I release, and I'm so thankful for that. But if you do have one of these dogs, do me a favor, leave a comment in the description down below, uh, excuse me, in the comments down below, and let me know what it is you love so much about these dogs so that other people who are considering this breed uh, can kind of get an insight into what daily life is. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell icon next to it. Uh, Arlo and I here would certainly appreciate it. And of course, we will see you on the next one. Right, buddy? All right.